What's going on YouTube? This is Big Pouncer coming at you again with another. I'm going to do another shotgun review today. Yeah, I know a lot of y'all seen that I picked up the Remington V3, but I also picked up another gun. That if, of course, you can tell from the title of this video what it is. It is one of the new Brown and A5s. And yeah, as a lot of y'all know that watch my channel a good bit. I had one of these last year. And I didn't keep it for, for very long because it just didn't fit me quite right. And I didn't have a lot of time to shoot it. I needed something to fit me right then that I could that I knew I was used to. And so I traded it for that Franke that I had. And I've done pretty well with it. But uh, I got a really good deal on this gun. Yeah, it was the kind of deal that you just don't turn down. I mean, you know how much this gun here costs brand new if you know anything about guns. And it's basically brand new. I mean, it's... It doesn't have a... It's got one little tiny mark on the barrel, but it ain't big as a grain of sand. It's in, it's in immaculate shape, you know, for what I paid for it. But it's got a 28-inch barrel. It is in black synthetic. And I would actually prefer it to be black synthetic or a woodstock gun you know the woodstock don't have this dura touch finish on it but i'm gonna go over the likes and the dislikes you know what i like about it what i don't like about it and tell you how i like it but in the, one of the main reasons i bought this gun is i picked up another one is <coughs> my brother-in-law he's got one of these and he actually bought one right around the time that I had my other one. And uh, yeah, he liked the one I had, so he wanted to buy him one. And he picked him one up, and he still got his. And so in the off-season, we started shooting skeet and you know this, that, and the other. And I was shooting his a good bit, and I was doing pretty good with it. You know, I was shooting quite well with it. And I, I, really, I really got used to shooting it after I shot, you know, seven, eight boxes of shells out of it. And I was dusting them. You know, I was knocking them out of the sky pretty good. So I said, well, I might pick me up another one at some point. And lo and behold, I come across this. It was a really good deal on it, and I just couldn't pass it up. And it, it come with everything from the factory. It had all three choke tubes that come with it. And this gun is, it is empty. Come with all three choke tubes. It was in really good shape. It come with all the shims so I could shim it the way it would fit me. Come with the spacers and everything on it. And yeah, it was basically a brand new gun at a half the cost of a brand new one. And uh, I think I'm gonna shoot doves with it mostly. You know, cause that's what I was shooting with his gun was skeet and all. And probably end up shooting doves with it. You know, I'll probably take it there hunting a little bit. I did kill a buck with that one I had last year. And uh, yeah, I killed him dead, so it will kill a deer. And I have shot buckshot out of this one already, and it patterns are pretty good. And I'm going to show you a buckshot pattern with it. I'm going to shoot some bird shot out of it and show you what we got. Let's get to the likes and the dislikes of this gun. You have to forgive me. It is quite hot out here. I think the high today was supposed to be 97 97 degrees and I'm sweating sweating bullets out here right now. It's hot But that's South Carolina weather for you. We don't got used to it by now <clears throat> All right start with the likes about this gun is One was the price, you know, I couldn't beat the price on it and two I got used to it I'm actually pretty comfortable with shooting it now and it, it fits me pretty good now. I love the pistol grip on this gun. It just fits my hand perfect. And with the shims that come with it, I was able to shim it. And it fits me real well now. So as soon as I put it down, it's right on the money. It's right right down the bead. So I will actually probably be able to kill there pretty good with this gun too. So the other one, the other one that I had, I just bought it from a guy. And he didn't have anything with it. None of the shims, none of the choke tubes, any of that come with it. And I just couldn't customize it the way it fit me. Now, I could have bought the shims that... Now, I could have bought shims for it. But I just never did. You know, I traded it. Was done with it. But this one come with all that. And uh, and that, that's one thing I liked about it. 
Now, you know, another feature that I love about all brown and shotguns, at least all the ones that I'm familiar with anyway, is the speed load. You know, I love the speed load feature on these guns. I always have. And I love, you know, I love the speed load feature. Of course, if you don't know what I'm talking about, when the chamber's open, you put one in the bottom and it, it loads it for you. I don't know. I just like that feature. I don't know how they done that. John Moses Brown, and years ago when he come up with that little idea, that was, that was pretty, pretty cool. I like I like that feature on the gun. Now, let's get to my dislikes. Now, there's a few things that I don't like about this gun, and in particular, this Duratouch finish. I'm not the biggest fan of the Duratouch finish. Uh, you know, some of the guns you see, Duratouch has done war off of them. It's peeling real bad. And, and that, now a lot of that comes from uh, bug spray. People spraying bug spray on them, getting it on the gun. You know, they'll spray it itself with sunscreen, stuff like that. Well, that eats up the finish on these guns. You know, I've, I've, I know a couple guys that's got this exact gun in particular, and they beat the thing through the bushes. They hunt with it a lot. They've had it for several years, and their Duratouch looks just as good as when they bought it. So, you know, they, I guess it's just all in how, take, how you take care of your gun. But I'm just not the biggest fan of that sticky feeling. This one's not bad right now you know it because it's pretty much new it's not bad it it pretty much slides off but if it ever gets down to where the dirt touch is getting sticky and it's starting to come off i'll just have it dipped you know i'll just take it somewhere and get them to dip it in a nice camouflage pattern or or just get them to sear coat the whole thing and you know cover up that old dirt touch finish so it won't be that big of a deal you can usually get that done a couple hundred dollars from a halfway decent fella dipping guns <laughs> and uh but i mean that's pretty much the only dislike that i got about the gun you know the trigger's nice and crisp it is unloaded yeah you know, i like the trigger pull it's a nice trigger on these guns and uh you know that's really about the only dislike that i got about it you know i like the length of pull the fact that you got you get spacers that you can you know adjust your length of pull on it and uh you know, other than that, I like it pretty good. You know, I don't have a whole lot of dislikes about it. This one don't, you know, the shells don't catch my thumb in the carrier like the Remington did. And, you know, all in all, I, I like it like it fairly well. All right, let's get to shooting some rounds and show you how this bugger shoots. All right, I got the same shells that I had. Shooting Remington, the old clay pigeon, and see if we can do some damage to it. Boom. Busted one. It help if you throw them in the right direction. Powdered that one. Ugh. All right, let's see if I can hit old empty shotgun shell. I ain't got no more clay pigeons since I broke my last one. Sent it sailing. Sent it sailing. Who is hot? Now, I don't know if y'all could see that quite well, and I know you couldn't see me hit the shotgun shell, but I just dusted two clays, and I hit a shotgun shell, and I threw it up in the air myself. So, as you can see, I got, I'm pretty quick with it. I've gotten quite used to shooting this gun. All right, let's get to some more shots. All right, we got a 15 pellet three inch federal double odd in here. Let's see what it'll do to the sheet of cardboard down there. And I do believe you will notice the kick a whole lot more than them inertia guns, period. You know, that gun kicks a little harder. It ain't terrible, but it kicks the piss out of you when you're shooting heavy, heavy loads. And uh, I was ashamed, we was at 40 yards, 40 yards right at the, 
right at the center of the paper is where I was aiming. Let's see how we done. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got twelve out of fifteen in the paper. The vast majority of them was right about here where I was aiming. They went a little high, but that's all right. Up, oh, nope. We got thirteen. I missed one way down and hit the bottom. So thirteen out of fifteen. That ain't bad, you know, for forty yards with the modified choke. Your modified chokes in it. I think that's pretty good. Pretty good. But like I say, that uh. That Remington is probably what I'm going to be primarily there hunting with. But when I do hunt doves, I'm just going to take that one gun. I ain't no need to take two guns with me. Whenever I'm going to shoot birds that afternoon, I'll just take the one. And that there will more than plenty kill a deer. More than plenty will it kill a deer. I'm quite satisfied with the way it patterns. <coughs> but it is too hot to be out here. I was in the air conditioner before I walked out here. Like a smart person, I decided to come out here and do this mess in the heat of the day. But when you ain't got the morning times to do it, you do it when you got time. That is my review on the newer Browning A5 shotgun. In my opinion, it gets an A plus for me. I like it. You know, I like the way it fits. Now that I've you know, I got it shimmed up like I need to, I like the way it shoots. I can dust clays with it. I'm just going to hope I can kill a bird with it. I'm sure I'll be able to kill a bird with it. So this will probably be my primary duck, dove, gun. I don't hunt geese, so maybe if I ever get a chance to kill one, I'm going to kill one, one of them with it too. And I'm sure I'll kill some deer with it. But this is Big Pencil, and we will be back with another one soon.